Hey, what's up, y'all? It's me, Miss Angie. I hope the day is treating you well. I have my coffee here. If you don't mind, I'm just going to take a quick sip. Mm. If you love pumpkin spice like me, then you know how good it is. So I have my coffee here because I really want to just feel relaxed. I want this video to feel inviting, casual, almost like we're having a conversation. I really want to feel connected through this YouTube video. You know what I mean? So if you have a snack or something to drink, put the video on pause, grab that, come back, and let's have a good time. If it is your first time ever watching any one of my videos or stopping by my channel, welcome, welcome, and welcome. It is a pleasure to have you. And if you like my content, my hope is that you will eventually subscribe to my channel and join my community. Would love to have you. And if you're already subscribed to my channel or you've watched my videos before, welcome back. From the bottom of my heart, I genuinely appreciate your support. So guys, I don't know about you, but I love amber. Any fragrance that has a touch of amber or an amber style fragrance, I'm here for it. So if you like amber like me, then you have come to the right video because today I'm going to be talking about the best amber fragrances. Now, of course, this is in my opinion. And then also there are other... Uh, these fragrances may fall under different categories, but according to Fragrantica, these are all amber type fragrances. So there may be just amber or amber vanilla or amber floral, but it is some type of, of amber, all right? So I have 10 fragrances here and I will be ranking them um, from my least favorite to my holy grail. And it was a little difficult to do. So if you are curious to know what is in my collection, then keep watching this video. Let's jump right into it. So coming in at number 10, we have Angel Muse by Terry Mugler. So Angel Muse is all about the patchouli and it's all about the chocolate. In the opening of this fragrance, there is pink pepper, grapefruit. In the middle, of, there's this hazelnut cocoa spread. And in the base, you have the vetiver and the patchouli. So I really get a lot of the patchouli and the chocolate. So you really have to enjoy like patchouli, vetiver, like that earthiness of a fragrance to enjoy this. This falls along the same lines of the original Angel. Think about Black Orchid by Tom Ford, maybe even a Velvet Orchid by Tom Ford, just that, that same DNA there. Now this fragrance, uh, in terms of performance, it performs very well. Most Terry Mugler fragrances project their beast mode. Uh, people will smell you before you walk into a room, especially if you are an oversprayer. So I would say just uh, pull the trigger with caution. But it's a really nice fragrance, really great to wear in the evening time. This is cool weather fragrance. I cannot imagine wearing this in the heat because those notes are, are heavy. I mean, we're, we're talking patchouli, vetiver, uh, hazelnut cocoa spread. That's heavy. So imagine like it, it's hot and you have on all this heavy stuff. And, oh my gosh, it, it would not be good. But this is great. Cold weather and great evening fragrance because this this is a head turner if it's worn on the right skin. So if you are looking for like a patchouli style uh, fragrance, especially like a, a, a dirty patchouli, and that's why it falls in my number 10, I'm going to be honest, I do like to layer this with Cloud by Ariana Grande because um, I, I like patchouli, but not like the dirty, earthy patchouli. But you may, which is that, that's why it's on this list. So give this a try if, you, if that sounds like your kind of uh, style. Angel Muse by Terry Mugler. Coming in at number nine, we have La Belle by Jean-Paul Gaultier. So La Belle is all about the vanilla, the pear, and the musk. This is a beautiful, sweet, so you like, you gotta have the like sweet fragrances, but beautiful, sweet, um, flirty, fun kind of fragrance. Mmm, this is nice. In the opening, you have pear and bergamot. I mainly get that pear note. In the middle, middle, there's floral notes and leather. So interestingly, I do not get any type of leather. La, La Belle has an intense version where there is leather and it is definitely amped up there, which I really like. So if you like leather or you want to get like a good leather type fragrance, go for the La Belle Intense, but there is not much leather in here at all. In the base, there is of course musk, vanilla, vetiver, amber, and to my nose, I get most of that musk and that vanilla. So again, it makes it this um, vanilla pear musky kind of fragrance. This is a really great performance. M pretty much all of these fragrances, so I'm gonna just do a disclaimer really quickly. 
all these fragrances perform with the exception of one and i will tell you why but i'm really 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 big on longevity and performance of fragrances because i'm not paying all this money for something that's just not gonna last like uh, uh, i'm just not so you'll hardly ever talk uh, hear me talk about fragrances that have very poor longevity but this performance is great it wears uh, a good eight eight hours eight plus hours um even when it dries down and you know you towards the end of the day you still get like a light fragrance that's really nice especially if you sit next to someone you're like oh my god you smell so nice yeah that's labelle so if that if you like the sweet fragrances especially like the vanilla pear and musky combo uh give this one a try this is really really good very mass appealing uh, it would be very difficult for someone to say i hate this fragrance so um it falls in my number nine because it is mass appealing i like fragrances that have more of just a bit of an edge but i cannot help but to add this to my collection or to put it on this list because it is very very good la belle by john paul gaultier the next fragrance so coming in number seven wait is that it no sorry number eight look at me can't even count all right so coming in number eight this is an oil so this is new york night by bond number nine so i was i was trying to decide whether to you know get the full bottle or not and i decided just to stick with the oil not to say that i dislike the fragrance i definitely enjoy the fragrance but some fragrances i just don't feel it's full bottle worthy especially when we start hitting into like um the 300 plus mark you know that's when i really start you know examining my pockets and yeah i just didn't didn't feel the, the need to i i have had other bond number nine fragrances um that have been great have been really great but anytime i'm uncertain about investing in a full bottle especially a niche fragrance or people complain about the longevity or you know i'm just uncertain i try the oil first and um then i decide so this one the oil was was so on point and I, I've had great experience with this oil. I just do not feel the need to buy a full bottle. So this, again, is New York Nights by Bond Number no. 9. This fragrance is very unique to me. It smells like the banana wants candy. That's exactly what it smells like. So if you know what I'm talking about, like it gives you a pretty good idea, but it's more like in a fragrance form, like a perfume, right? So yeah, banana wants candy. Um, in the opening of this fragrance, you have carnation, gardenia, jasmine. Um, there's also some uh, flowers in this fragrance, other florals in this fragrance. There are sea notes, which is pretty different. Patchouli, there's coffee, there is caramel. So super unique, super unique. But I would not have ever guessed, I would have never guessed that just smelling this fragrance. And I, I love it. I really like it. It's it's unique. Now a man or a woman can wear this fragrance and I can it's smack dead in the middle. I can I can 100% seeing both genders pulling off this fragrance. Um, now in terms of the performance of this uh, this fragrance again. Performance is great. Now I can't really give you like an accurate review on the longevity of the bottle because I went for the oil. So what I can tell you about the oil is that it lasts to the next day. So if you did not take a shower and you left the oil on, you will smell it the next day. And I mean, that's not surprising because oils are more concentrated. Like you're going to get a huge dose of that. It's going to project um, a lot more than some of your average fragrances. So with that being said, um, the performance is amazing. But I've never had a bad experience with Bond number nine. Bond performs. So I'm sure, I'm almost like 98% sure that that fragrance performs in the bottle in terms of like um you know the style of this fragrance so this fragrance is really great um to wear like in the evening now you can pull it off during the day yes you can but it's new york night so i think this is more suitable for the evening and i can definitely get that vibe this is not a signature type of fragrance and this is this is something like it's for more of those special occasions where you know, you, you want to switch it up a bit. You want to do something different. You want to take someone by surprise. That's when you pull out New York Nights by Bond Number no. 9. And it is great to have in your collection. So the reason why I fell into the number 8 um, is because there are just some other fragrances. Not to say this is bad at all. It is not. It is not. But there are some other fragrances that I enjoy more. And, and I would say from a, from a wearing standpoint, like, from being wearable, if that makes sense. I, I get 
I enjoy wearing the others more than I enjoy wearing this one. But this one has to be on my list. So if you like that banana runs candy vibe or, you know, just those notes, give it a try. It is really, really nice. So whether you go for the bottle or the oil, trust and believe like you will not go wrong. And I will make sure that I include the name of the fragrance and uh, where I got the oils from. I'll put all of that in the description. So again, this is New York Nights by Bond number nine. So coming in at number seven, we have Aura by Terry Mugler. So I know how people feel about this fragrance. This is the EDP. I know how people feel about it. Some people hate it. Some people really love it. I really love this fragrance. It is unique. You could tell a story with this one. You know, like, it's just, you can't deny the fact that it's, that it's not unique. Okay, you can't, you can't, wait, you can't deny the fact that it's unique. Yeah, there we go. You you can't deny that it's unique. Like so, it's green. It's it's um it's woody. It's gourmand. It's spicy. It's all of that in one. And yeah, oh my gosh. So in the opening, it is a little unusual. So there's rhubarb leaf and there's bergamot. So there's it's a very it's supposed to have a green opening, but that's not what I get. It's a it's a very minty opening, and I'm talking like mint. Uh, like like the Lifesavers mint candy with a little bit of Crest toothpaste. So it's rather soft. It's nothing like heady or in your face or headache inducing, at least in my opinion, but it is a, a rather unusual opening. And uh, as it begins to dry, that dissipates. So you start getting some of those other notes. There's Perilous fragrance. There's Ylang Ylang. Um, there, I mean, there, so there are some other touches. There's woody notes. There's green notes. There are, um, is bourbon vanilla. So I want to talk about this bourbon vanilla because I believe that is what makes this fragrance. Now this is, a, of course, is my opinion, but this bourbon vanilla, you can smell it throughout the fragrance and it just gives it this thickness. It feels thick, it feels dense, but not so much to where it's only worn for cooler weather. Like, I don't know what's going on. Like, that's why I feel like this fragrance is unique. Like you can wear it in warmer weather. But you can also wear it in cooler weather, which really makes it scent very, or fragrance very versatile. And I'm here for it. Now that mintiness never goes away. So it, it, it it's not like in, in a, I was gonna say in your face. You know, it, it's not as dominant as it was in the beginning, but it is there. So I'm just letting you know, but it's really nice with the spiciness of this fragrance, the vanilla, it's really, really nice. And as it dries, it just becomes a more like woody vanilla fragrance. So you don't get like all of the complexity in the opening as it dries. Like it, it becomes more, a lot more wearable in my opinion. So this is a very, th this is beast mode. It wears, it lasts for a very long time. You would smell this on your clothes for days. I don't have to talk about longevity on this one. You already know how Terry, Mugler, Terry Mugler fragrances are. It, It's great. But the style of this fragrance, so this, you can wear this one in the day, you can wear it in the evening, you can dress it up, you can dress it down. Like, this is a very versatile fragrance, believe it or not, as unique as it is. It is a very versatile fragrance, and I really like this. I think, you know, a lot of people say you can wear this in warmer weather, but I think this is a, a little, um, if I had to choose a season to wear it, or like a time of year to wear it, I would say cooler weather, simply because of that bourbon, like that gourmand touch of this fragrance. This is really, really nice. So if you're looking for something unique, um, go for Aura by Terry Mugler. This fell in my number um, seven spot because, uh, you know, like because of that opening and, and how unique it is, it's not loved by everyone. I will say that. So I, I don't wear it as much. And yeah, I, I do have to be in the mood to wear this fragrance. It's not one that I'm just like, oh, I'm just going to wear every day. No, I have to be in the mood for it. But every time I wear it, I'm like, gosh, I love this. Like, this is really, really nice. So Aura EDP version by Terry Mugler. All right. Coming in at number six, we have... Guess Seductive Noir. So this fragrance really took me by surprise. I wasn't even looking for this fragrance, to be honest with you. Like, I have uh, another guest fragrance. It's Guess Gold. Uh, if you've never smelled that fragrance before, it reminds me a lot of the Chance Chanel with the orange liquid. Like, it's almost a dupe, but Guess Gold has uh, more fruits in, in that fragrance and no patchouli. 
but they are like very 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 similar and i really enjoyed uh guest gold so i was just looking at some other guest uh fragrances to see if maybe i could add some to my collection because they're also extremely affordable and like guest gold performs uh, so that's when I came across this one and when I looked on Fragrantica, they were saying that it, it was like a dupe of Mon Guerlain. Like everybody kept saying like this is literally Mon Guerlain. So I'm like, you know what, let me go to my little perfume warehouse store um, that I go to. And when I smelled it, I was like, whoa, it is definitely, it's definitely similar to Mon Guerlain. I, I can 100% see that I have smelled the original. I had plans on getting the... Um, the Eau de Parfum of Mon Guerlain. So, uh, yeah, I have not gotten that yet because there are some other ones that I'm looking to add to my collection before that one, but I, I really do want that one in my collection. But this will definitely hold me over. <laughs> this is this will definitely hold me over until I do. It's very affordable. I paid 20 bucks for this fragrance. Now, um, the longevity of this one is like average it, it, it's not it does not perform like the other ones and it's 20 bucks so i'm actually glad that it performs it the way it does because i was expecting like two hours but i look at a lot of reviews so a lot of people kept saying like it lasts for a super long time like so i was like okay let me go ahead and get it and it's just 20 dollars. so worst case scenario i can just use it as like a house scent but no this is very nice to wear out and especially if you layer this with some type of like you know lotion or body cream that's similar you'll probably get a longer wearing uh, with this. So this fragrance um, has sage and there's peony, there's velvet, there was Haitian vetiver. Um, there's some really, really nice notes to this. Mon Guerlain has lavender in it. So I think that's like the major difference, but it, it's some, the notes in here give this a deeper feel. So I understand like the seductive noir. Whereas Mon Guerlain is more of a a daily signature scent, if you will, uh, just more angelic, innocent, sweet. This one, not so much. Uh, it, it's it's a little deeper, but it is very, very, very similar. Like if you didn't really have, if your nose wasn't as sensitive, or if you didn't have like, if you're just like smelling it like this, if you were blindfolded, put, if you were blindfolded, you would be like, oh, that's Mon Guerlain. But when you really study the fragrance or you put them side by side, then you would be able to tell the difference. But just like a quick smell, it would be like, no, it's Mon Guerlain. Mon Guerlain. So no, this is really, really beautiful. So if you're looking for an alternative, maybe you don't want to pay that much money for, money for Mon Guerlain, go for Guest Seductive Noir. I promise you it is an amazing scent. I really, really do like this. It's, in terms of the style of this fragrance, you can you can wear this during the day because, like I said, it's very similar to that fragrance. So because that fragrance is versatile, I'm going to say this one is as well. But there is a deepness to it that really just sets the tone for the evening time. So you cannot go wrong with wearing this like for a date night, going out somewhere like this is seductive noir. I mean, go for it. So if that sounds like your vibe, or if you like the Mon Guerlain, give this one a try. Again, this is Guest Seductive Noir. Um, this fell into my number six because of the longevity. So it's like, and also like, yeah, I, I think mainly because of the, the longevity, but I really love the scent. Like the scent, I'm here for it. All right, so coming in at number five, we have Gold Incense by Mancera. Now this fragrance here, is beautiful i love this scent i like mancera i'm a huge i'm pulling up the notes on this here because i really cannot remember them to save my life but um yeah so gold incense is a very it's it's actually unique to me now man uh i love mancera fragrances if you've never smelled mancera fragrances get your nose on it they are beast mode they perform they project great siage everything is on point about mancera fragrances uh, to me in terms of like the performance category now the smell I I can't speak for that uh, Everybody has different styles, but this one here. I really really do enjoy um, This has an opening and I'm looking at my computer. There's incense in the opening So I definitely get this incense now. It's not like this burning little Eastern style incense. No, this is a, a very clean unlit incense it's nothing in your face, but you can definitely get it in this fragrance. 
but it's really nice. It's it's nice. Now there's also um, some mandarin orange in the opening, and there's coffee and pink pepper. I'm not getting any of that of the other notes. I just get the incense. And in the middle, there's jasmine, violet, patchouli leaf, and rose. So maybe the rose. Maybe that rose, but um, but it's really soft. If there is rose, it's it's like it's very soft. And the base there's vanilla pod, benzoin, and white musk. So I definitely get the vanilla and the benzoin. This has a very like incensey, resinous, like ambery, resinous um, smell with a vanilla touch. It is beautiful and touches of florals. Very, 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 very beautiful scent. This is for men or for women, but a lot of men um, say this leans more feminine. I, I can see it, but hey, if you're a man watching this, please do not like not try this fragrance because people are saying that you have to try it on your skin and then you can form an opinion because fragrances are subjective. So the way it may, you know, on a man, on one man, they may pick up nothing but florals, but on another man, they may pick up on more of like the incense. So it just really depends on your skin chemistry. Get your, try it, get your nose on it and try it. This is really beautiful. Oh my God, this is great. In terms of like the style of this fragrance, I think you can wear this uh, in the day, in the evening. This could be a nice signature scent, especially if you don't overspray, but it could it could definitely transition into the evening time because of like that ambery resonance feel. Oh my God, this is really, really nice. Now, uh, it is nice for cooler weather, but it's a great transition fragrance. So if it's like, if you're still getting some some moments of heat, like you haven't gotten into that pure cool weather fragrance yet. This is great to wear. This is really, really, really nice. So this fell into my number five because I have some other fragrances that I'm sorry, like it has to be above it. It has to, but I really do enjoy this. So if you like that style, give Gold Incense by Mancera a try. Coming in at number four, we have another oil. So this is of Angel Share by Killian. And this is simply amazing. Simply amazing. So I got the oil for this one because some people were, were saying some things about the longevity. And then they were talking about this rubbery kind of a burnt tire. That's what it was. Burnt tire type of scent. So I was like, uh. I'm not sure if I really want to invest in the bottle, so ran to the oil, ran to the oil, and when I tell y'all, this is a beautiful scent. It is gorgeous. Now, I do get what they're talking about, but it is not, it is not to where I'm like, I can't wear this fragrance. No, not at all. Like, if you really put your nose in it, I, I, yeah. I can see it a little bit, but this is ultimately a boozy apple pie. Like this is, man, this is good. This is my, this is actually my most complimented fragrance. Um, every time I put on this oil, I get some type of compliment from someone. This is when you put on your leather jacket, your leather pants, leather boots, suede. Like this, when you're trying to step out, when you're trying to be seen, when you're trying to be remembered, this is when you wear... Ah, Angel Shared by Killian. Now, this is cool weather fragrance. Cool weather fragrance. Do you hear me? Cool weather. And ah, you, this is nighttime. Now, you can wear this during the day. Like, it's very festive to me because of, like, that, that holiday, like, that apple pie kind of smell. So, it does feel, like, very festive. Like, something you can wear on Thanksgiving, um, even Christmas. Like, something like that. You, you can really... You can wear this during the day, but but when it kind of goes to the evening or nighttime, Angel Share shows up in a whole different way, whole different way. So yeah, this fragrance has cognac. So again, that booziness. There is cinnamon. There's oak. Like this. Oh, this is good. This is really good. So the reason why it fell in my number four is because once again, there are other fragrances where I'm just like. I'm even more hyped up, hyped, hyped out, hyped up about those fragrances than I'm about this one. Like you, you're really about to see me just, just it's gonna be pure excitement from this point on. So if you like that vibe, like this boozy, festive holiday, like apple pie vibe, give this one a try. This one is really, really, really nice. A man or a woman can wear this. This is another fragrance where I can see like both genders like rocking this fragrance. 
and rocking it very, very well. Angel Share by Killian. Go for the bottle, go for the oil. Again, you can't really go wrong with it. It's the the smells are the same. It's it's just all about like what you want to add to, to your collection. But if you're just going off a of smell, I say go for the oil. Coming in at number three. Coming in at number three, we have Choco Violet by Mancera. Oh my goodness. Choco Violet took me by surprise. It really did. Because I don't, I, I'm going to be honest with you, I do not like violet. And I've never had a fragrance where the violet was so dominant. So when I first smelled this fragrance, it, I had to get used to it. But when I put it on my skin, that's when the game changed for me. So Choco, Choco Violet, as you could tell by the title of the fragrance, it is all about chocolate and it's all about violet. So in that opening, you're going to get um, orange, uh, hazelnuts, and uh, is it orange and hazelnuts? When I smell it, the notes kind of come to mind, but I believe there is orange and hazelnut in here. And as it begins to dry, that's where it's violet and there is dark chocolate. In the base, there's musk, there's Madagascar vanilla. This, this, this here. It, it's this, 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 this. So in the opening, let's talk about the opening for a second. The opening gives the most realistic scent. It's like a chocolate Oreo cookie with hazelnuts. And it is, it smells so real. Like it, so if you are a person where, um, you are into gourmands, but it's more of like just, it doesn't feel real, if that, if, if that makes any sense. You you probably will be a little off-put by, by the opening because this feels so real. Like those hazelnuts, it's literally like I'm smelling real hazelnuts and I'm smelling a real cookie. But um, as the fragrance begins to dry a little bit more... That's where the violet comes in. And that violet is so beautiful. It's a candied violet. So it's it's a candied floral. It is so beautiful when it blends with that uh, chocolate. So you start getting that chocolate smell. But like I said in the beginning, it's more nutty. You still get like that cookie vibe, so that, that chocolate vibe. But as it dries, you get more of the floral and more of the chocolate. And as it dries even more, like the base of this, it's just like this candied floral with little hints of chocolate. Chocolate. Beautiful. This is another fragrance where I have been getting um, some compliments. Uh, the last compliment I received, I was hugging my uncle. He was like, oh my God, you smell so good. I was like, yes. Because I love a good compliment, okay? I love a good compliment, especially when someone says I smell good, okay? I love to smell good. And when someone just confirms that I smell good, you made my day. But this one is definitely a head turner. A man or a woman could wear this one. This is really nice. The, uh, in terms of the stylist fragrance, you could wear it in the day, you could wear it in the evening. This is an everyday fall type of scent. So it, this is a casual scent as well. And you can even dress this one up too. So I've worn it casually. Um, like I've worn it in the evening, like going out somewhere. So I would really say that this is a very versatile fragrance and you really cannot go wrong with this one. So if you like that, that vibe, like the chocolate and the violets, Give Choco Violet a try. I should not have to talk about performance because I talked about Mancera. There is no issue there with performance. No issue there at all. Siage projection, all of that is on point. So that is in my number three. I chose number three because whoo, these 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 two fragrances like it's. Man, it's it's good. It is good. Like I had it had to come above uh it had to come before Choco Violet. So coming in number two. When I well, I blind bought this fragrance and I had I read reviews on it, I looked at the notes, I figured I would really like it. And uh when I opened the fragrance, when I opened the fragrance, well I opened the top of the fragrance and I smelled the nozzle. And I sprayed it onto the paper like my feet was like this. Oh my God, oh my God. Like I was, I was shook. This fragrance was so good. And I'm talking about La Nuit Tresor a la Folie. I was clowning in my seat because this fragrance was that good to me. This is a beautiful, 
amber vanilla fragrance. It's a warm, spicy like vanilla with hints of rose and red berries. It's almost like a like a vanilla cupcake with yeah with hints of spice, red berries, and rose. It is beautiful. It's sensual. It's seductive. It's soft. It's feminine. Oh man, this is a great date night fragrance. Great date night fragrance. A fragrance you wear going out. It's this is cold weather. Okay, this is a cold fall night. This is a cold. This is cold weather fragrance. It is stunning. It is stunning. It is, I, I like, first of all, I'm mad that they discontinued it. How could you discontinue a fragrance like this? Now, I know there's another fragrance that people hype up quite a bit. Um, La Nuit Tresor. And I cannot, I don't know if it's just La Nuit Tresor, but it is like the more purple bottle. It's just like this, but it's purple. I can't think of the name of it. You probably know what I'm talking about. Now, that one, a lot of people go crazy about. I'm not crazy about that one at all. When I put it on my skin I was not a fan and I'm not a big fan of strawberry uh, in any fragrances I notice like anytime there's a, a strawberry note in a fragrance I do not like it I do not like it at all and I did not care for that fragrance but this one this is like my favorite flanker um, oh my god now you can order this one online I got it from fragrance uh, fragrance net if I'm not mistaken but get your nose on this one you would have to probably blind buy it so that if if you like my style of fragrances then more than likely you will like this one especially if you love like amber vanilla fragrances you, this one you'll more than likely like it's it's really difficult to dislike this fragrance so give this one a try a la nuit tresora a la folie oh my god this one is this will never leave my collection never never ever ever coming in number one coming in number one this fragrance here I had this fragrance on heavy, heavy, okay, heavy rotation during the like fall and winter, especially like those cold nights. And I'm talking about Myrrh and Tonka by Joe Malone. Myrrh and Tonka by Joe Malone. When I tell y'all this fragrance, this fragrance is for me. It's for me. It's for me. This is luxurious. This is money. Mm, this is unique. Oh, this is so good. This is so good. Oh my God, I cannot wait to wear this one. So this has an opening of lavender. In the middle, there's myrrh. And let me just talk about that myrrh for a second. It's, it's like this resinous smell. It's like essential oil. Oh my God, it's so good. And then the base, there is um, vanilla and tonka bean and um an almond but what i get like that that tonka bean and the myrrh together is i can't even put in words like this is a sexy fragrance this is a fragrance you definitely wear in the evening time like now i've been loving this fragrance so much like i like last year when i wore it i loved it so much to wear like I was wearing it during the day. Like, I didn't I didn't care. But this one, but I often wore this like going out. This I had so many other fragrances and I was reaching for this one every time. All black. You all black. Chic. Like this is people would need to collect their thoughts before they come to you with this fragrance on. That's just my opinion. This is gorgeous. Someone said it smelled like a like a like a cathedral. Like, and I get that. I definitely get that. But I'm here for it. I'm here for it. I really don't get much of the lavender or the the almond, but I'm here for that too. However, they blended it. It it's working. It's working. So this is like one of my favorites from the Joe Malone um, intense um, Joe Malone intense cones because I don't really care for Joe Malone like the other fragrances. They don't last. They do not last. I bought a uh, wood sage and sea salt. I bought it and I returned it because the longevity was just terrible. But I find with the Cologne Intense uh, ones, these are very good fragrances. So please, if you heard about like people talking about longevity with Jo Malone, like give this one a try. This lasts all day long, all day long. So performance is excellent. So that is my number one, y'all. Um, man, all right, let me let me get off. What man? Woo! 
Okay, so guys, that's all I have for today. Uh, hopefully you stayed to the end or you fast forwarded to the end. Uh, my sense of the day is actually guest seductive noir and I am loving it. Let me know your scent of the day and I will be sure to add all of these fragrances in the description and the Fragrantica site so you can look up more about any one of these fragrances that appeal to you. So if you have anything to share, drop it in the comments. But until next time, guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye!